buy you diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. Isaac Mundy, United Church Seminarian, belting out a song in a party spirit. Well, I don't care too much for money, because money can't buy me love. Everything Isaac undertakes, he does with gusto. From the greening of churches, to visiting hospital chaplain, to his seminary studies, to strolling with his wife Rebecca on a winter day. Isaac is studying at the United Theological College in Montreal. Like his parents, grandparents and great-grandparents, Isaac is involved in the family business. Many generations on both sides of his family have been and are currently United Church ministers. I've been part of the United Church for since I was born, actually, and uh, grown up in the United Church. Um, for me, it's a uh, it's really important to be part of this denomination, to be um, in a denomination where I feel my roots are. Although for me, ecumenical dialogue is also really important. So um, that's been an, an important aspect of the United Church for me, being in a church that. Um, is open to dialogue with other faiths, with people from different denominations. So, um, yeah, I'd say that that idea of inclusivity, um, both towards dialogue outside and with dialogue inside of our church, is really important for me. On his path to becoming a minister, Isaac has been very involved in the United Church's greening projects. One Sunday takes Isaac and his wife Rebecca to Beaconsfield United Church, where children sing a song of environmental awareness. The children are also involved in encouraging adults to fund a new lighting system that is earth friendly. For each donation a new bulb is posted and new low impact fluorescent lighting is installed. fluorescent lights that use a lot less energy, so a lot of different things, getting different people involved and also having worship that is very green themed, having to do with eco-theology. Um, the minister there I know did one sermon about um, the fishery and how that's been affecting uh, the environment and how we consume food and so there's a real link between the projects that they're doing and then also how, uh, how one worships. and. Uh, things like that. Another part of Isaac's current ministry is working as a chaplain at various Montreal hospitals. When first in Montreal, Isaac and Rebecca worshipped at l'Église Unie Saint-Jean, where they felt welcome and where Isaac chose to locate his candidacy for ministry. Yeah, uh, Eglise Saint-Jean is a, a really neat community. I came there, I guess it would be um, two or three years ago, um, and it's quite diverse. Um, it's a francophone community, which is uh, rare within the United Church. There aren't a lot, but uh, here in Quebec there are a few. Bonsoir. Buenas noches, good evening and welcome à tout le monde. Bienvenidos y bienvenidas. Bienvenue. Saint Jean is, has people from a lot of different backgrounds. Um, uh, a major uh, part of the community are uh, Quebecois people who have uh, um, sometimes a, a Catholic background but who have decided to come to the United Church. There's also a large number of people who have come from the European um, Swiss Reformed tradition and, uh, and also the Reformed tradition in France as well. So, uh, and then there are people like me who are Anglophone but who have come to the community and uh, there are also um, people from, I'd say, all over the world um, who, who come but the majority of people are that, uh, from that Quebecois and also uh, European background. As Isaac contemplates his future ministry in the United Church of Canada, 
he takes into account the journey that has brought him to this time and place in his life. I guess I would say that I, my road towards, uh, towards ministry has been one that sort of uh, meandered uh, all over the place. I had a sense of feeling of call um, when I was very young, but when I was very young I also wanted to be a, a soccer player and uh, do other things, so it wasn't uh, um, as if it was always just, oh, I want to be a minister. But uh, after I spent some time in uh, two monastic communities in Europe, um, I had a really strong sense that this was what I wanted to do, and um, through personal accompaniment that became something that I realized that uh, was important for me. Yeah, I realized that I wanted to be part of that community, that I felt like I had gifts, that I could do leadership within the United Church. Um, I would say in terms of my engagement with the Francophone uh, community and, uh, and how that interacts with the, the Anglophone community, uh, it's sort of up in the air right now in terms of where I will be placed in terms of ministry for my first few years because the way that ministry works in the United Church, when you become ordained, you can be placed um, Anywhere in Canada, you have some of your preferences that you can say, so I'm not sure if I will be in a, a Francophone community when I start off, but it's definitely something that I feel drawn towards. It's been something that I've been trying to work on a lot in terms of just my own ability in French and to be able to do ministry in French. Um, something that I find really, uh, I guess, fascinating is the way that uh, in the last little bit there have been um, churches where there has been a mix in terms of French and English and uh, doing mission in that way, seeing sort of a, a blend, and so that would be something that I would be really interested in for my ministry in the future, but I guess I'll just have to see in terms of where I end up. We are